Tucked away in the hills outside Asheville, North Carolina, hidden in the back of a suburban neighborhood, is a 25-year-old school bus. You know, the kind you couldn't wait to get off when you were going home from school. That's where Coleman Barry gets on every time he comes home. It's a 1980 Chevy school bus, 60 passenger. It's 33 feet long, seven feet wide, and uh, it's my little home, it's my nest. I would call it early American hippie, with a kiss, a little splash of Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> it certainly isn't traditional, but then again, neither is Coleman. He got his offbeat housing idea when he was going to Grateful Dead concerts. One day I was leaning up against this big school bus, it was called the Flying Burrito Bus, and it had a Volkswagen bus welded to the top of it. Nothing quite as exuberant here, but when Coleman was looking for a house he could afford, he saw a lot of potential in a $650 purchase sitting on the side of the road. It was actually in pretty good shape. Um, both inside and out. It's only got 80,000 miles on it, so the engine runs good and runs strong. Only 80,000 miles on it, not the usual specifications for a house. But there's a living room, a kitchen, a bathroom, and a bedroom. 220 square feet of space packed from floor to ceiling with a lot of living in it. A downsize from a two bedroom house full of stuff, furniture, and everything down to this, and to be honest, I haven't missed any of it. In the living room, there's plenty of room for guests. The bus's steering wheel doubles as an anchor for this handcrafted television stand. Literally three steps away is a small kitchen with a three burner stove, a double stainless steel sink, and some cabinets. The bedroom at the back of the bus has triple functions as another smaller living room, as well as Coleman's home office. And, and what was the name of your store again? A built-in closet is adequate for Coleman's new pared down lifestyle. And a half step away, the bathroom is also just big enough. The shower is basically two and a half feet width and length. Coleman lined it with cedar so it wouldn't mildew. And in case the tight space fogs up, there's a window. Of course there's a window, it's a bus. There are windows everywhere. Providing panoramic views as well as a built-in alarm clock. Sun's up, so is Coleman. It took two years to renovate the bus, mapping it out inch by inch to make it seem bigger. I did the walls at 45 degree and these lines. It gives the illusion of you're, you've got more space. The ceilings and the cabinets were also built with two kinds of wood, a light poplar and a dark oak to further the illusion. A similar finished look stretches across the ceiling of the bus, but only because Coleman worked and reworked. Originally, he put in poplar wood, and then poplar batten strips to fill in the cracks. But the look didn't match the rest of the interior, so he redid the strips again in a darker oak for contrast. Actually, it uh, was a blessing because when I put these poplar strips up, I did them one at a time. When I got back, they, were real, they weren't straight, they were real curvy. And uh, it didn't look very well. So when I put the oak strips up, I was a lot more careful and got them in line, so it kind of straightened out the lines. all that painstaking woodwork all over the bus, these cabinets are Coleman's favorite part of his renovation. Right down to these sophisticated fixtures that come straight from the local hardware store. So this is actually windowsill latches that I, I did with this. And it, it pulls it pretty tight so it doesn't rattle when it's going down the road. Right, going down the road. Just a little reminder that if he wants to, Coleman can still start up his house and go. But with the cost to run the bus sky high these days, there's not a lot of travel. So for the most part, he stays put. A neighbor provides hookups for electricity, water, even cable TV. I've got uh, 30 amps of 110 power going to- Be careful, <laughs> that electrical line has a little zing. <laughs> that better not be on there. But North Carolina is where Coleman's staying put for now. He never has to travel far in his new compact home until some wanderlust hits him. And then he can travel far and wide in the magic bus. Good night. Y'all come back now. Yeah.